previously on Work of Art. You will be driving these Audis waiting for you. I like driving in New York. Really impressive. We want you to use that experience as inspiration for a work of art. Awesome. You all right? Yeah. I feel like Miles is completely manipulative. I think he's playing the part of the tortured artist. Do you shout shit out all the time? Don't ever look me in the eye and ask again. I don't. Because that is what you did. Oh my God, what have I done? It's very bright with silly mini-me's. Congratulations, Jacqueline. You made a true work of art. Jamie, it's time for you to go. At stake for the winner, a solo show at the world-famous Brooklyn Museum. And $100,000 provided by Prismacolor Art Uninhibited. This is Work of Art, the next great artist. I can't figure out the judging and the process and conceptual art and people acting. So I'm gonna do art I have fun with. I really think I appreciate being here more than anybody because I have less to go home to. It would change everything for me if I could win. <sighs> now we just gotta maintain. The fact that we started out with 14 and now we're down to eight is kind of shocking. If I can make it to the final top three, I'll be really, really proud of myself. Let's get going. I just have to keep my eye on the prize. We go to Canal and Six to get our next challenge. It looks like a public art space. I don't know even what the challenge is, but I love public art. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council's Lens Space a public art space open to the entire city to enjoy. I'd like to introduce you to your guest judge, Yvonne Force Villarreal, co-founder of Art Production Fund. Yvonne, could you tell them what you think makes a successful piece of public art? When we first started Art Production Fund, our goal was to bring the important messages that are found in contemporary art to an expanded public audience. Most public art has been inspired by the site first, and then the site is used to heighten the communication to the public. For your challenge, you will be creating your own art installation project right here. Oh, awesome. And you will have two days to do it. Art. You will be working in two teams. Oh. I will be the first one to admit, I don't necessarily work well in groups. Compromising is never easy for artists. To determine your teams, please pick a paint too. No. Jacqueline, you won the last challenge. Let's start with you. Blue. Eric, come on up, you're next. Blue. I pick blue. Jackie has blue. I'm a little nervous about that because of the argument that we had and we haven't really spoken to each other since then. Red. Blue. Red. Red. Peregrine, come on down. I don't really want to work with Mark. I don't like Mark's work. And I think that a lot of his work is just neutral. Blue. Thank you. Go join the blue team. <laughs> okay, I guess Nicole and Abdi, that means you'll be on the red team. Awesome. <laughs> now that you know who you'll be working with, you have 15 minutes to explore the site before you head back to the studio. There, you will each pitch your vision for your installation to your teammates. As a team, you'll have to choose which project you want to see to completion. And finally, we've stocked the studio with everything you could possibly need for this challenge. Your 15 minutes starts now. It would be so nice to erect a structure that you climb up into like a tree fort and has a window that only allows you to see when you're sitting a patch of sky. Be beautiful. Do you know what I'm saying? Miles stepped forward and has an idea. It's a little bit Milesy, 
It's like this basic quiet space for somebody to sit and look at the city or read a book. Okay. Let's agree on like three to four themes that we want to address. I think the constantly evolving thing, yeah. I think simple is a good one. I was thinking it would be cool too if we could have some kind of box on the bottom we could build for dirt and soil but have some kind of vine that can eventually grow up into it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Done. I have always wanted to do something like this. Just make something big and sculptural. Hop up. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Hop up. All right, tell me where you want me to turn. Eric, sometimes he lets his self-consciousness about being a newer artist get to him, but I think in a group situation, he's really going to flourish. Most places here, it's where somebody's working. What's going to maybe bring someone into this area, but also have them experience all of this that's just not here. But this is so important to New Yorkers to yeah. see this sky. Nicole's sort of taking charge of the group. You must feel the space. You must engage the space. I'm ready to talk about the design. Right now, let's just get ideas. Yeah. And then when we get back to the studio, we'll just assess our strengths. Okay. And also, for this challenge, I'm sorry, and you know, I hope that not, we just don't bring up anything in the past. Where did you get that idea? It's something that I'd already been so thinking about. So my point is, about. it doesn't, it doesn't mean that just because you... Don't ask me for oh advice. My God. I think it's cool that she extends that handshake first, and it, it shows a lot about her character, and so it was a nice surprise. This is going to be really great. I know, we've got a great team. I'm so excited. When we get back to the studio, we kind of formulate a plan on the supplies from Utrecht that are already in the studio. I need to say some major concerns. Yeah, sure. I've got some too, so. The gravel that's there is actually oh. really amazing. Wow, and so, like, these right shapes, here. yeah, these shapes. That's gorgeous. Are actually good. Like, <laughs> I came up with the inspiration of our piece, and we plan to make a very beautiful and complex geometric form. You can sit on it, and you can lean on it. It's something that engages you to gaze up, but also bringing nature into our everyday psyche. I think it should be like just like a park of, of different forms. forms. Yes. Yeah. Keep them movable. This thing cannot be movable. Yeah, yeah you're it right. It should not, no. Okay. And it has to be sit onable and it has to be sustainable and not fall apart. Yeah. I love the idea of somebody having their lunch hour off and being inside of a space that feels very natural and is made out of natural materials. I started to hate this idea. I'm not trying to be like, I'm, I'm, the reason is I don't feel like it's aesthetically attractive enough. I think we have to eliminate any element on the exterior that makes it look like a clubhouse. Agreed. I feel like it looks very much like a tree house. It's not aesthetically interesting enough. So we went back to the drawing board. No vine plant things that make it look like a miniature house. And I agree with you. I was going to nix the plants at the bottom. I think it's too much. It's fine. So let's just get started. It's fine. Yeah, so we're not doing the vines? No, I think the vines are really silly. It's hard when nobody really thinks you know what you're talking about, and they'll shoot your idea down. It's really discouraging. Let's just agree. First on the shape, we've eliminated the boxiness of it. So it's going to be very rhythmic from the back, very beautiful from both sides, and very inv inviting. The final design has a beautiful curve that jutted out obliquely into the sky. Yeah, I want to make sure we all have our stamp on it, too. I don't want a judging thing to happen and go, Eric, right. what part did you take in the design of this? Right. We don't say, want that None. either. It's four people working together for a common aesthetic. A large chunk of the day is already gone, so we need to get this knocked out. So are we going to make one with a flat top and then one that's more pyramid-like? I did metal sculpture for the last year or two of my college experience. I've done lots of welding, making life-size figures. Hopefully, you know, help the team out as much as I can. Maybe building this piece by piece might not be so bad. But then how we put it together? As long as it doesn't fall apart when Jerry Salt jumps on it. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, get in the pretend bed. She's child size. <laughs> right. Are you comfortable? We each have special tasks. My job is to cut the two by threes. Miles and Peregrine are trying to figure out the angle and the curves. Jackie's making sure we have what we need and we got food and snacks and stuff. <laughs> Let's cut the shape up. This is where we're going to need a ton of teamwork because these need to be level. For the sculpture, I had a circular element at the top that was very sinuous. People could actually step into the piece and look into the stars or into the clouds. Eric, you're still holding because this will rotate. Holding, sir. 
wood shop with Ryan and Abdi. <laughs> what not to do? And we're gonna have to all become carpenters real fast because we're making our piece pretty much entirely out of plywood. It's in there. <laughs> we're only gonna get one of these done. <laughs> Making a geometric shape is gonna be far more complicated than any of us think. Art piece, how dare you? You're not Bruce <laughs> Lee, man. You're not Chuck Norris, okay? I'm sorry. Why is this so hard? <laughs> it's wood, that's why it's hard, you idiot. 30 minutes left! Mother of pearl. It'll be good. You're What's too positive, the other man. side? It'll be great. Yeah. It's approaching midnight. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not really a super mathematical type of individual. Are these exactly three feet, both of them? I need to figure out ways to structure it so that when people lean on it, it won't collapse. Trust me, it's stable. It's just not... Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm getting down. We go back to the William Beaver house. We're all really, really exhausted. We also know that we've got a lot more work to do the next day. Night, right, Abby. All right, good night, man. And I'm not tired, but my body's exhausted. How's your uh, mysterious project going? Is it very teamwork oriented, or is Miles like the leader? It started off not very teamwork uh, work oriented, and I kind of kept voicing my opinion and told him like, hey, it's really gonna start to turn into an argument, because I'm not going home for being the guy that didn't have anything to do with the piece. Coming up on Work of Art. Oh my god. I don't really give a how much time we have left, but I'm not your helper, dude. You just shot yourself in the foot, man. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like I kind of got assigned to the project manager role, which is really stressful because I need to make sure that everyone's doing their part. I'm excited that I have immunity, but I so badly want our sculpture to win and to see my collaborative creation in this space and know that I had a huge part in making it happen. All right. Let's do it, guys. We have until 12 a.m. tonight to work. For our piece of public art, we have this idea to make this one large, almost monolith figure that people can kind of sit on, rest on. We are making a curved, three-dimensional seat where a person can sit in it if they want to. It'll have like a quiet area for you to look up at the sky. And let me know if you need me to help construct, because I can do yeah, yeah. that too. We're just in the middle of something that only takes two people. Okay. Thank you so much. We're gonna have to cut this precise. Today, we sort of delegate duties. Me and Mark decide to do the actual construction of the large box. Abdi and Nicole are making smaller pieces. Just be super, super careful. Like, it's almost setting. The molds are supposed to replicate the different rocks that we found and how perfect and beautiful nature can be. Let this dry, and then I can lay a layer right on top of the hard stuff, uh -huh. and then pour more over top of that. Okay. Oh my god. Isn't that great? The other team's piece is kind of intimidating, especially with the height. Our piece is actually a lot smaller. If it's based purely on construction abilities alone, um, we should just quit now. Yeah, it's whatever. It's something. I've never built anything quite like what we're going to make. My father's a carpenter, and he would be terrified about how I use the saws that I'm using. Whoa! Oh my God. 10 years ago, he cut off his thumb. He had to go to the ER and, and sew it back on. His thumb is working now, it just looks a little weird. Go slow, go slow, go slow. I've worked at a wood shop and I've worked in a hardware store. I can do a heck of a lot with wood. Two more clamps. We just got a little bit farther to go. We're not in the clear yet. I really feel for Eric. The other members of the team aren't his best friends, and he's probably trying his best. But I imagine, you know, with his personality and their personalities, there's going to be some conflict. Now that, kids, is how you bend some goddamn plywood. Amazing, Miles.
Eric, you should design those scales so we could see what they'll look like. Yeah, I'm waiting to figure out my measurements. We don't have time. Uh, waiting. I don't know. It might be a really good idea. Why do you want them so badly? I think snake scales are cool. I think it's earthly. I just think the sheet metal going around the whole back plane is going to be just too plain. I wanted to help Eric because he and I were friends. I'm just trying to encourage him because I think he has a lot of potential to grow into a really good artist. We need to make the yeah. boot and that, Eric, I need you for. Yeah, I got you. The thing that I need to do is make sure I have a singular piece of meat in this so when they do judge us individually tomorrow... There's no singular meat in any of this. Yeah. We can have no singular meat in any of this. Miles is a strong artist in the conceptual way, but he can act a little arrogant, a little pretentious. We need to formulate a game plan and we need to stick to it tight. There can be no questioning what we're doing. No matter how hard I work physically on the piece, they just keep putting my ideas aside or rejecting them altogether. I'm just like a leper in the group. Hello, artists. Hello, Simone. How are you all doing? Now, while you're all working as a team, tomorrow you'll be judged individually. There will be one person who will win, and one person will go home. Be prepared when you speak to the judges to tell them what you yourselves have been responsible for. Now, let me see what you've been up to. Hello, good team. How's it going? Who came up with the concept of what you're doing? I feel like Nicole had like the main idea that we all were like, yeah, that's kind of what we want to do. We immediately were like, this guy is so rare that we definitely wanted to tie that in. The, the rocks that were actually part of um, the park already that we were sitting down with, they are all these beautiful geometric well, we gravel shape. on site. Yes. yes. We also have smaller cast pieces that we're basically going to create a bit of a spiral leading up to the main piece. I find this a very beautiful uh, shape. What I don't see at this moment uh, at all, quite frankly, is what you're going to plan to do with all of the other pieces. That's going to be a dangerous thing because uh, you can either kill it or make it even more extraordinary. Thank you very much, Simone. Thank you. Good luck. So, who wants to start explaining to me what you're trying to do? Sure, I will. Mm -hmm. It's this really kind of beautiful sinuous shape that cuts into the perpendicular buildings mm -hmm. and cityscape, as well as, you know, a very simple park. And it's made entirely out of, you know, just pure wood and metal. And what is your message that you're trying to convey with this piece? That, sorry, I don't want to speak for anybody. It's okay, whoever wants Please. to answer. I think that um, for me, it, it, it might even be a little bit of a continuation of my last piece in the sense of there's simple beauty in the city that you can find just by looking. I'm staying quiet during Simone's visit because Miles and Jackie, you know, they're doing that typical art school crap. Because it's, sorry, it's been a great team experience. You loved it to work as a team? It's been awesome. Eric, do you want to tell me what, you, what you've been doing as part of the yeah, I've been, effort? I've been, I've been lifting heavy stuff, Simone. <laughs> Luckily, you're strong, yeah. so that is very um, important. When I look at this void, uh, this shape here, I, I am drawn to it, and I would like to try it out on site. Yeah. Awesome, great. Wear some clothes you don't mind getting messed up. I'll wear my most beautiful suit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simone. Thank you. Artists, I'm really pretty impressed by what I've seen so far, but I'm seriously concerned about timing. You will need to have all of your work loaded into the trucks by midnight tonight. I greatly look forward to see you at Lens Space tomorrow. Keep it up, be bold and brilliant. See you tomorrow. Eric, yeah. if you're into it, we're gonna f go for this thing. Huh? We're gonna f go for this thing. Go for it, dude. So. No, we need to. We need to get really excited about this and stick to You know to what, though? I mean, I don't really give a shit how much time we have left. I'm not excited about it. Don't, man, um, don't do that Come attitude. on, please. No, I, I can't help that attitude. I respect the character you play. I think you're a tremendous actor. Yeah, we don't, I think I love the tortured artist thing. What? I love the f corporate America with the Audi challenge, and then you're so tortured you had to go to sleep. But I'm not your f***ing helper, dude. We're all helping each other. So, Will you please help us if you don't want to help I'll be more than happy to help okay, you guys. That's what I've been help. doing the whole time. You just shot yourself in the foot there. I'm just saying. And you built another homeless shelter, so... It's not a homeless shelter. It's actually a really beautiful piece. No, it's cool. What do you need me to do so we can get it done? It feels like we're all dealing with a fourth grader. And when he came at us with name-calling, 
we all shut down. You either want to finish this or you don't. I do want to finish then this, but guess what? This. I won't finish it with you doing this badass macho attitude because that's not something that's healthy. Here's, here's your choice. You can decide to be a decent person and help us with this. That, that's what I'm doing. No, you're not. Are you? You're gonna kick me out of the group? I'm not. No, no, you're, no, no, the group. Have you're standing here saying, if you want to be a part of this, right. but if you want right. to do this, if you want to do that, right. are you like really the boss of the group? No, or, no. I'm okay. saying. No. I'm saying. Because like it or not, I'm on your team. So you, you, know you can accept that or not. I have been around too much and been through too much to have some stuck-up art pussy tell me life lessons. Coming up on Work of Art. Be gentle. I'll move. We need your help. It's on the get It was so disappointing. I wasn't surprised that Eric called Miles and all that stuff. It's a tough call whether that's right or wrong. But I support him because everything that he said to Miles, at some point, I've wanted to say. All right, let's go. Well, it's getting pretty late in the night. We need to get this huge sculpture down an elevator and into a moving truck. We gotta go in with this because it's the shortest. Wait, wait. Whoa! <laughs> it's whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Uh, push it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, it's gonna do that thing. Hold on. Up. Come on. <laughs> ah! Are you yeah, I'm gonna. Oh my God! What can I do? It's in. Now we just gotta get it out. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Lift. Wait, what are we doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's bondo this thing, paint it, and get it done. Be gentle here. We've got a good. I'll move. We need your help. It's just I know, but when I, get, when I get pushed out of the way. After Eric attacked all of us, it's super stressful, and I was really afraid to be around him. I was afraid that he was going to start yelling at me. Our three main parts of the structure are done. Jackie, Peregrine, and I are shellacking our sculpture, trying to get it finished up. Eric's chain smoking, and it was so disappointing. Yeah, time's up. We have a lot of work to do tomorrow at the park. We have to paint the sculpture, and we have to arrange the smaller pieces around the sculpture, so we got to hit the ground running. It's going to be down to the wire tomorrow and I'm nervous because I don't know how Eric's going to act. Oh. Take our spots at the window as usual. Jackie whispers to me, and then she hands me this note that says, argue so with us on something, insist, say it needs, and that's it needs is underlined, it needs this. You need to convince us. <laughs> In the studio, Jackie hands me this note. Maybe she did want to help me, and when Miles outwardly just disagreed with me, she didn't want to upset him, and it looked like she was on my side. At this point, I don't know who's going to win tonight. Their form is, like, amazing. But at the same time, ours is giving the other team a run for their money. Are you tired right now, or are you just tortured as an artist? No. <laughs> Miles Peregrine and I have put so much into the piece, and we just want to see it finish. But the main shape, it has to be lifted into the supports. And it's very heavy, so we're really hoping that Eric can pull through and we can finish this piece. My boy and all. I don't believe Slow and steady wins the race, man. Go straight, go straight. I love it. <laughs> the honor to create a piece of public art in this space in New York City, it means a lot. This is really an awesome, awesome opportunity. Eric, are you tired? Eric? I'm good. Okay. Today, I have a better chance of staying here another day, busting my ass, and just quitting sitting down and not helping the group finish it. Still in the cracks. We've been told by Simone that of the eight of us, one of us has to go home, and one of us gets to win this challenge. I have no idea how we're going to judge that, especially in our group. We've all done equal amounts of work. It looks great. <laughs> we're thinking of 
like how we can make it just pop out so that it's completely separate from the post. I'm trying to think speed too. The quickest would be spray paint. Spray paint is gonna look like It does look like Miles is a total douche, but it's exactly what I expected from trained artists who have their heads stuck up their ass. Just do patchwork, yep, that's a good plan. Well, I'm not gonna do patches, I'm gonna go in a sheet. No, I say just do patches. We've already got the patches, so just go with that. It just looks, I don't like the patches, no. What do you guys think? Kind of like I it. I like it. It's beautiful. It's pretty good. The red team is making some sort of jagged, uneven, quadrilateral object, and it doesn't really seem that attractive. Sweet! This is the first time, probably in my life, that I've been done with something this far in advance. Feels kind of good. I might try this in the future. Are you busy for a second? Can you take a photo of all of us? I'm really glad about what we've done. We're still unified, we're still supporting each other, and above all else, I think the confidence that we're having with each other is definitely gonna show through to the judges. Woo! Can I have your attention? You have exactly half an hour until the park opens to the public. Good luck, see you later. Awesome, thanks, Simone. Thank you, Simone. You should go help Miles. Yeah. Is he cooking stuff? What is he doing? Crazy. They're making this horribly dangerous jungle gym. Miles has them adding all these little fragments and shingles. It's like this weird treehouse constructed by a meth addict. In the final minutes, we are hammering, nailing, sanding, and doing everything we can to make the piece as beautiful as possible. Shove it in there. Give me this, give me the screwdriver and a screw. We got four minutes. Okay. I feel really great about our piece, so it'd be cool to win, but if the structure fails, if it somehow breaks, then definitely I'll be sent home. Guys, we're done. Coming up on Work of Art. It is too close to all the bad 60s and 70s works. You don't deserve to be here. I don't? No, I don't think so. F you. F you. Miles is a very dramatic individual. The way that he performs, it's very impressive. I want to make the best coffee. I can't, I can't even talk about it right now. Good afternoon, everybody. Before we check out your installations, please say hello to your judges. Critic Jerry Saltz, Jeannie Greenberg Rowiton, art advisor and gallerist, gallery owner Bill Powers, and your guest judge, Yvonne Forrest Villarreal. Hello. For this challenge, you worked in teams to make two public art installations. We wanted to see what statement you would make and how you would leave your mark on New York City. Let's see what you've made. We all made a piece that we entitled Scale. We wanted to create a beautifully and visually interesting piece that was both interactive and artistic. I do not feel like I'm involved in this piece. It looks like a big question mark. All right, it's a little awkward getting in. <laughs> You know what? There's a smell in here that's like the cedar mixing with beeswax. Mm -hmm. I smell it. It's kind of cool. We made a total of seven objects consisting of six smaller pieces with a major structure at the center, which people can lean upon and enjoy nature. Should we lay down on that yeah, side? Yeah, chill. OK. All right. The impetus for the piece was just how open the space is. So many people are surrounding our piece, and they're just staring at it. I felt kind of like Jesus for a minute. Oh, I love it up here. 
Our piece looks beautiful. We all band together like brothers. I know I'm a girl, but like we were like, we were bros. It was really beautiful to see our team just really stand by each other. Bring it in, bring it in high. Hug it out. Oh, love y'all. We asked you to create art for a public space. Now we'd like to hear what you were trying to say. Blue team, we'll start with you. We thought that we could do something site specific and also something that would be interactive but would hold up on its own. Besides being a functional object, it's it's just also very interesting to look at, the way it juts into the space and creates this beautiful curve. Can you tell us about the title? Eric had this idea of scales on the back of this piece. When we had the last minute to name this piece, we called it Gale. And it's about balance and how it is to work with three new people in the universe. It's an important part to notice that there's no bolts holding the two structures together. These are two separate structures that are held together by weight and balance. Which two separate structures? This piece and the stock piece. Eric, we haven't heard from you. I don't have a whole lot to say about it. Um, Why not? I'm not really a fan of it. Uh, Why not? I didn't get to really put my input into it. Uh, Why not? My ideas were shot down. Why? I don't know. What were your ideas? Let me see your well, idea my, that's my not idea there. for the scales was a diamondback snake scale pattern with the sheet metal. I had an idea for vines. Just wondering. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's move on to the next team. Okay, red team, tell us about your piece. Well, we were really inspired by Ms. Villarreal, how she defined public art as something that is at home in the space that it's in. The initial design draws its shape from the actual design of the park. The one idea that we all shared instantly was the vastness of the sky, especially in New York. How often do you really look up, you know, not only at the tall buildings, but at the sky in general? In addition to that, we wanted to make a piece that could be enjoyed by more than one or two people. We wanted something that multiple people could lay on, could stand on, could sit on. Can you tell us about the title? The Numenon, it's a term for binding or highlighting, searching out the hidden magic within our world. So it's kind of like a new age? <laughs> well, it's not new age. How did you come up with the size? We wanted something that people could get upon because it is really about highlighting the subtlety of these objects. If it is so much about the sky, you could have made this a little bit bigger because you can't really lie down on that. You can do this, though. You can do one of these, which is really, really nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Obviously, we have a lot more to discuss. We are going to head back to the gallery for the crit. Blue team, we will start with you. Red team, you can wait in the studio. See you soon. Blue team, we've seen your structures outside, but we still have some more questions. Eric, you mentioned that you were not a fan of the piece. Can you elaborate? I wasn't really involved in the concept of the design. My ideas were shot down. I did get this interesting note from Jackie that said, argue with us on something insist, say, it needs this, you need to convince us. But I think that's actually a pretty good note to get. And that's what I had thought at first. I thought that was really awesome of her to do that until I did it and she didn't back me up. I don't think that she's smart enough to sabotage me and set me up that way. How about the shingle? Was that your concept to do the, the shingles shingle? The shingles were not my concept. They tried to convince me that that was a version of scales, but it, the shingles weren't my concept. But the piece is called scale. And, so. and I found that out when they told you guys at the site. So I wasn't you able You found to that do. out, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but let's just clarify. You found that out after you chose not to participate. So that's why that was a problem. Your problem is insecurity. So when we shot your ideas down, but you chose to address it in a poor way. I, I'd be the first to admit, yeah, my insecurities will get in the way. It's like the in crowd versus the out crowd. Most of the time, I wouldn't finish my we, sentence and Peregrine would blurt the word no, absolutely And not. Eric, like, do you remember some I of the mean, things that you said? You totally, like, accused him of I didn't you accuse me of acting. You okay, guys, we're going to stop that here. Let's just talk about the actual work. I like this idea that there's this balance play. I like the idea of two people having a conversation, something that was a little bit outside of the urban environment, yet at the same time they're still on view. To the other team's credit, they created a piece that was a lot easier to casually interact with. I really wanted to ask a, a little bit more about the placement of your piece. 
Tell me about that. The area that the piece was facing had the most open sky in the skyline. Don't you know what that, what you pointed the thing directly at? That's exactly the hole in the sky that the Twin Towers left. Oh my God. Of all the sky in all the country, this one patch of sky has that one spot. We were talking about the intuition playing a role. There's always that potential that maybe that focus went there for a reason. We have a big decision tonight. One of the eight artists left will be going home. You can return to the studio and send down the red team. Thank you. Hey guys. Have a great critique, you guys. Thank you. See y'all. It did look pretty good, just patchworked. Yeah, it really did. I'll be pleased if I'm still here tonight after this. You don't deserve to be here. I don't? No, I don't think so. For you to quit on a team? You kind of quit without saying it. Then f you. F you. Then leave. Then leave. Get I'm, out of I'm space. sorry. I'm go. the insecure one. Go. Just please You're go. You're throwing me out? Hang out with yourself. Red team? We have seen your structures outside, but we still have some more questions. Yvonne, as our guest judge, what did you think of their piece? There's real lyricism, because you take really the largest part of the site itself, which is the site, and you make it small. And you take the smallest element of the site, the pebbles, and you make them big. I like that a lot. It's simple, but it's poetic. To me, it is too close to all the bad 60s and 70s minimalist works. Do you think your piece holds its own compared to the other team? Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. I feel like Nicole has a major piece in this work. And when she presented her vision, it was like, wow, this is beautiful. And if you looked at the crowds, a lot of people were coming over to our piece, sitting on it, lying on it, talking about it. I think what I liked about your piece is that just looking at it when nobody was in the space yet, it was quite beautiful. And then once the public showed up, then it became interactive. And it made me think of a modern Stonehenge. You know, I, I sort of took on the role of, of actually building the thing along with Mark and Abdi. I think Ryan surprised us all. He was a mathematical genius. Ryan is just genius. smarter than us. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We have a lot to discuss. Why don't you join your colleagues back in the studio? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't we start with the red team? Mark, Abdi, Ryan, and Nicole. I like Nicole's concept of taking these shapes that were in the gravel and pulling them out to create the monolith that they did. When everybody came in, they seemed to gravitate right to that piece. And there was a little bit of a party atmosphere around it. I liked it up there. It was really beautiful. I didn't want to get down. I wanted to hang out up there for a minute. I find it interesting that the red team was celebrating a 360 degree view of the sky while the blue team was only focused on one specific area. And while I did not love the minimalist sculpture per se, I liked the poetry behind it. And they all got along so well. Nicole and Abdi's team felt like a collective. The three of them could admit that the abstract idea did come from Nicole, but there was no internal problem in the group granting her that main kernel of the idea. Let's talk about the things that we didn't like. I think they need to push the work further in a conceptual way. Yeah, there is a simplistic aspect. It's the kind of art that gives art a bad name. OK, let's move on to the blue team, Miles, Jacqueline, Peregrine, and Eric. It screamed site specificity. Sit in me, and I want to show you something. It was the piece I was attracted to first. I loved that it was sort of up and out of the ground. It was physical, and it was screaming, climb me. It's funky, the shape. And I love the details of the hardware showing, but the reflective surface on top doesn't really work. It ended up just being more of a patchwork quilt. It didn't have a lot of meaning or significance. I liked the scent of, of cedar when you were sitting in it that was unexpected to me. I never smelled a thing. Somebody called it like a dangerous jungle gym, and it, it does kind of look that way. Well, if you're a parent, you're not going to leave your child there alone. To me, the most disappointing thing was to watch them claw at each other. This is one of the real reasons why there's not more public art in the world, because people can come together to make something happen. So I think we've made our decisions then. Oh, yes. Tough one.
were challenged to work in teams to create public art installations that had something to say. And one team succeeded. Congratulations. Red team, you've made a true work of art. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great job, your piece is awesome, for real. This was a challenging endeavor. Not only did you have to make a piece of public art, but you also had to work collaboratively. You did it in a sensitive and poignant manner. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Because this was a team challenge, we are gonna let you as a team pick the winner. Who's it gonna be? It's between Nicole and Ryan, for real. Just so you know, this is for bragging rights and not immunity. Okay, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> for being a gentleman. <laughs> I won the challenge and I'm super excited. I've been like wanting to win a challenge, every single challenge. I'm just gonna keep on pushing it, pushing up to the top. Congratulations, Nicole. Red team, please head up to the studio. Blue team, please stay behind. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Great job, guys, for real. Good luck. <laughs> Blue team. The only rule in art is what works, and your piece didn't. You had several problems in this challenge. The scales looked hodgepodge and thrown together. We had serious concerns about the safety of the structure. And your failure to work as a team left a bad taste in our mouth. Jacqueline, you have immunity. Peregrine, you're safe. Miles and Eric, one of you will be going home. Miles. You're safe. Eric, it's time for you to go. I'm sad to leave because of the promises I couldn't fulfill. This is my last ditch effort at art. Congratulations, you guys. Congrats. We're sad and proud. I'm leaving. You're done, man? Yeah. Yo, for real. You're the man, dude. Yo. Thanks, dude. Good time. That's good times. I look forward to seeing you again. I wish I could say the same, but I honestly... Oh, my That's God. Okay. Have a really good trip home. three of you guys. All right. I wouldn't have wanted to go the rest of my life without knowing what would happen if I would have tried this hard to be here and tried this hard to stay here. I would have much rather been sent home on my very first piece for painting a clown on a pallet than going home for somebody else's work. Next on Work of Art. Welcome to Soho, one of the central art districts in the world. Hey. I have no clue where we're going. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I think a lot of us underestimated how hard this piece was going to be. Giving up control, it's just the hardest thing for me to do. I was making this, and I, like, started crying. Frustration, it's huge. Oh, um, this is really fun. It was almost deliberately banal. It's all. I tell you, this puts him on notice for me. To learn more about work of art, the next great artist, visit bravotv.com. Matches, pretty matches.